Yes, I mean, I've said and I meant it that COVID, uh, getting through the COVID crisis has to come first and that is what uh, I will deliver. I'll be getting back to work tomorrow to take the decisions to continue to steer us through the COVID crisis. But, you know, the while we don't know the final tally of seats right now, it looks as if it is beyond any doubt that there will be a pro-independence majority in that Scottish Parliament. And by any normal standard of democracy, uh, that majority should have the commitments it made to the people of Scotland honoured. So for any Westminster politician who tries to stand in the way of that, I would say two things. Uh, firstly, you're not picking a fight with the SNP. You're picking a fight with the democratic wishes of the Scottish people. And secondly, you will not succeed. The only people who can decide the future of Scotland are the Scottish people. Uh, and no Westminster politician can or should stand in the way of that.